It's no new thing to hear of school fee upward adjustments in private basic schools on a 10 to 10 basis. Besides, they're private and can make adjustments whenever they deem fit. This year, however, some parents are seeing outrageous fee increments. A number of private schools have increased fees up to 30, 50 or even 70 percent. And some parents have no other choice than to cope. I'm holding. She says, "Oh, person, back to international school. Who mm -hmm, the way are? Oh, basically, we back to international school. I'm not here." Sarah Benateshiwa is a trader and a mother of two. She now has to pay in excess of ten thousand Ghana cedis for her children who attend a private school in Accra. Previously, she paid a little about five thousand Ghana cedis. It's not easy. My first child used to pay 2,420, but he now pays 5,340. And the younger one used to pay 2,330 and is now paying 5,230. It's not easy at all. It's reopening day for most private schools. And for many parents, they are now left with a hard decision either to pay up for quality education for their wards or explore other options. I mean, it's not friendly for now, but if you want something, you surely go for it. Yeah, no matter how, it will, how long it will take or how difficult it is, but because I want the best for my brother, we have to pull through. Yeah. Parents say the fee increases are arbitrary, but naturally, the school owners disagree and they say they are merely covering up for increasingly rising costs of running schools, fueled by the cost of living crisis and other important factors. Christopher Entry is school administrator at Ave Maria School. There are many external factors that, you know, unfortunately are beyond our control, like what's going on in the economy, the cost of food, fuel prices, and, um, you know, cost of living generally. When COVID happened and the lockdown occurred, um, you know, the president had said that there was a waiver for water and electric, only for us to come back after COVID, and we had a water bill of over 30,000 cities that we had to pay. She further claims the public school allocation for free SHS alone is gravely affecting most private schools who are almost always losing their JHS3 students to public basic schools. For the past two years, I would say, we've been having um, issues when it comes to our JHS departments. And this is something that goes across for private schools all across the country, where when students get to JHS2, they're withdrawing from private schools and then going to public schools. Why? Because 30% of Category A um, SHSs are reserved for public school children. The Ghana National Council of Private Basic Schools was set up by private schools to regulate the affairs. Executive Director of the Council, Enoch Jetua, says it is powerless when it comes to charging of fees. The law does not mandate any of the associations or any of the groups to actually come out with a fees range that the school is supposed to be charged. But what we do is that we play an arbitrary role. As it stands, parents will have to adjust to the search in hope of a better economy. Judith Awachitando, TV3 News.